Okay guys, terribly sorry. Fortunately or unfortunately for us, the video stopped recording and then I anyways had to departure. I, I had to make my departure a little bit premature. So that allows us right here, right now to go through the comment section in part two of the same video uh, that I reacted to from Boy Love World Drama. Reminder, please don't forget to go support, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment for Boy Love Drama channel. They provide us with great source, great material for Finn Becky and the critical point of view. Here you can see that my first uh, part of the reaction video is airing, but uh, what I need to get to is, I believe, this one, yeah. And it is, uh, that is the comment section below Boy Love World Drama uh, video. So, let's, let's start with this. Recognize the language. And, okay. And English language. Perfect. Let's dive. Thanks for the video. It's strange that Freen always receives criticism when they have a solo or an event with Becky. How can you shift someone's death? No matter how bad it is. On Freen. IDF. They are not responsible for the mental health of a fan. And if anyone should be guilty, it's the person who put that video online. BL World Drama. I hope you don't just base your info. I just want to point out that it is exactly the way I would take it. Uh, how can you sh push someone's, you know what, to a person that is an artist that has nothing whatsoever to control over their fans. But if you reroute it into Chinese, you dictate what your fans think and do, do something about the situation, right? how recognizable it is where in the world we are from so i would i would identify with this comment you cannot control your fans and you cannot be responsible for their mental health and so that incident was mm, not fault of anyone we can think of right now I'm not responsible for me, uh, and what should be guilty is person who put a video online. And it is another big of... Not even them, not even them for this, but definitely uh, if there is some mental issues in case of Free or Becky, then yeah, we know where to turn to. Bola World Drama, I hope you don't just base your informa information on the very hateful and toxic accounts you showed during the video. Now, let's continue. My information comes from everywhere and it comes from where people can provide proof, but with this topic I just wasn't able to get any just people saying that a girl had passed away and a bunch of people asking if it's true. I have the picture of the girl. But I can't trust the person who posted that. That's why I didn't post it. Thanks for the clarification. Why that question? These are accounts we are fighting. See Freen why Becky son gay no s problema okay. de nady. If you don't know what was going on, uh, a boy love world drama was asked uh, if that those pictures we see on uh, the video are the sources. And she stated that they uh not always are only so the only source but in this case there couldn't be fine much and the other one was a response from the person who asked and which is very strange these accounts are are the ones that we are fighting <laughs> this is so horrible ridiculous Ah, uh, so horrible, ridiculous, like such a mix of... I have strange feelings. 
seeing or hear, hearing someone saying something like this. Those are accounts we are fighting. But on the other hand, then you check out how people can respond to a video or to a something that is not 100% positive for the person they root for and like you immediately are like, uh, okay, no. Sad. Very, very sad. If Freen and Becky are gay, it's no one's problem. Just because they were a couple in the Gap series Diabolical Minds, that's more serious. Gap wasn't pornographic. It was pure young people demonstrating their talent. All celebrities arrive on the red carpet with effort. No. I looked for the cat's four legs and let Freen and Becky make their life a world of tricolors for God's sake. On my shoe, let's elaborate on this specific comment. Because there are some interesting points, but those points can be very much um, be criticized as well, be disputed. Yeah, that's probably the word disputed. Uh, if Freen and Becky are gay, it's no one's problem. Just because they were a coupling gap that's more serious mm. I would translate it loosely like just because they were in gap doesn't mean that they are uh, gay in real life that's no one's business if they are or aren't and the, ju the, the, the gap series the drama does not give it more of a credit or isn't, isn't, isn't making it more like thing that you can rely on than anything else uh, now it states that Gap was not for adult people or adult audiences, adult... Mm, the, the form in which it was done, it was not uh, for adults. Uh, it was for young people. Demonstrating their talents. Now I guess this is gonna... yeah, this is what happens to me. Uh, or that used to happen to me. It's... what is meant here is... Uh, it's for young people. Like this is the target audience, young people. It's done by made, done and made by young people, uh, which means like Freen is twenty five or was twenty four and Becky is like twenty one on December, and uh, it's kind of understandable that the, the, the target audience is gonna be f like younger than it would be in case of where we would solve adult issues. Let's put it like this. So the explicitness would be was way more like toned down in comparison to things that would be targeted uh, for adult audiences. Uh, and for that reason it shows more like the artistic mm, the way how things can be done like an art and it's not so much about how reality works actually and th th this probably what was meant by this or what should be meant by this because how i put it it's probably kind of true it's probably kind of true yeah it's it's for young adults which makes it non-university setting but official setting and I mean, yeah, like Freen is 25. But then again, like the, the childlike looks of Becky. Still, the tone in which it is done, it's absolutely for young people. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, isn't it just still too over screened? Wait a second. Ooh. 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 Better? Hopefully so. All celebrities arrive on the red carpet with effort, which means you need to try in order to get where you want to be as, like, professionally wise. No, I looked for the cats, I looked for the cats for legs and let Freen and Becky make their life world of tri tricolors for gods. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know what it's that meant supposed to mean, but basically I I guess we we have done justice to the comment. Okay, let's continue. Well, clearly it is a good thing Becky is studying law. Semicolon closing parenthesis closing parenthesis. This sounds ridiculous to me. Thailand was a military dictatorship until 2019. All their courts are in a mess and are very corrupt. Think about all the people being denied their human rights and jailed for drugs. They just had an election last May but the military is not happy with the results so it's being negotiated. If anybody can shed more light on this please do. Thailand isn't really a democracy. It is sort of hybrid of military dictatorship, constitutional monarchy with a very problematic king and a sort of democracy. And someone from a different country is going to, what? Charge idol factory with a crime or a civil fraud. I googled this word in Thai. Re Sara. The girl who- Okay, shall we, shall we check out Re Sara, which is probably uh, pronounced in reality absolutely different? Um, look. The smell of us. Uh, the smell of us. What is uh super living located to find the natural partner? It's something, it's definitely something you need to consider. Uh, if they are not settled on what to punish, how to punish, how severely is those punishments gonna be. Or if it is being still perceived by um, other countries as not sufficient or not settled, then we have here a problem. Uh, and you cannot expect from such a country to do justice to the case we are as of now uh, dancing around. As well, it would explain much about why they don't pay so much attention about like copyright laws and stuff why would they be so mm, willing unlike other countries to uh, let other people do reaction videos for them widespread but i mean it's kind of beneficial i don't get why other countries don't allow this that much because this is basically com like commercial for free you are advertising someone else's work putting there some comments which is like freedom of speech and freedom of words which is like i mean yeah i don't want to suggest here anything whatsoever i mean it might really help thai people with promoting their work is all i want to say and i don't mm, i don't see why other people are so not benevolent to these things Especially if they can do it like GMMTV and we know that GMMTV is taking all of the money and credit for reaction videos of people. And they are benefiting from it, by the way. Unlike, I mean, like, most of Korean projects where they all block and or uh, strike your channels or Japanese or, you know, stuff. Uh... So, I mean, uh, probably realistic point of view on uh, how things would go if something like what is suggested in the video uh, would happen. The girl who died was the biggest fool to take her own life. C could not see the truth that Freen and Becky was told to... Wait a, wait a second. I believe this comment is gonna get so much hate and so much disagreement. Uh for belittling what she did and stuff. I mean, truth be told, it's gonna be like maybe four directions, four main directions that everyone is gonna take in when speaking about this case, which is so much saddening me, having experiences with such uh, deeds and really being very depressed by these for many, many years. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's very harsh, it's very harsh to say something like this about her case. 
and it might have its percentage of truth in it too. Uh, she, she, like what would it it met it matters and it is not pointless and meaningless to try to fight for your own life, even if it means that you have to attend. If you if it, even if it means that you have to be closed in a word. To, for people to be able to help you, even if it means that you will have to take pills, even if it means that you will have to change your lifestyle, it's still worth of fighting because you know, in the end, we will all end like that. We will all end it like that. So, why make it premature? It's so, so pointless. Uh, and as well, she didn't know Freeman and Becky, which makes it even. It does not make sense in terms of it was not someone who was close to her on a personal level that she could rely on and that would help her in her real life. Why would she put her life on such people? You cannot trust your close ones, for Christ's sake. How can you trust someone you don't even know in real life? You can't. You sometimes can't even trust yourself and you are doing good job to not do so. Is all I want to say, I guess. C could not see the truth that Freen and Becky was told to act like lovers in front of all the fans. Because of money, fame and gifts. When I saw Freen and Becky acting in the movie I knew it's for fun and nothing else. At least everyone should use their brains in a sensible way and not take these movies very serious and end their lives. Bloody wake up fools. One the girls nor the company never denied or confirmed whether or not they were a couple. The girls always said older and younger and friends sisters. Freen said in the interview that she had a partner who was from the same environment who was happy and possibly said that the girl said the same thing that the company, due to the fanservice strategy, manipulated the information. Is it something else that it was legal or not? That the fan survey is legal. Otherwise the company would have been censored and fined for it. Other companies. Other series where they appear couples of boys had the same problems because of this fan survey. So I think they should eliminate it but it is not illegal. As for minors. The responsibility lies with their parents because they do not supervise what their children see. This type of series does not it. But then again, it falls under me saying if you are 13 years old, you will not your parents dictate to you what to watch. And even if they do all of the precaution measures they can think of to prevent you from watching this, if you are into it, you will do it. You will find your ways. Period. So, I, I, it's like pushing the blame on parents for not taking good care of someone, which is absolute nonsense. It doesn't work like this at all. Okay, let's go. cool. Let's continue. But yeah, for those avid parents who want to blame Freen, Becky, Idol Factory, Thailand, uh, international fans, whoever, it's a good wake up call because. In reality, the only one who can take care of what other people are doing in their real life is the real life people in their real life world. It's people around them that they usually don't pay attention to or don't care about. Those are the ones you can manipulate and do something about, not the outside world. It's too far-fetched to think you can do some about something about someone who is out there, that it would be easier. It never is. It's never going to be. The only one you can take care of and dominate or not and give them freedom or not and give them trust or not is the people in your real life world. No matter if you like it or not, it's how it works. Couples of boys had the same problems because of this fan survey. So I think they should eliminate it but it is not illegal. 
as for minors. The responsibility lies with their parents because they do not supervise what their children see. This type of series does not it is for boys because they do not have enough reasoning to understand what they want to convey. It is their parents who must guide and say it is fiction. It is not real. It could be true or not and make their children see that they should not be obsessed with these things. The girl Delata was already her decision. She was a reasonable person to know that it is fiction and that it is real. If the company is being investigated for possible fraud, it is normal that they have not spoken out as soon as there is a mess due to the ongoing investigation. The same thing happens with Freen. She R said that you are not allowed to talk about the subject. There was an explicit sex video. Well, no one has seen it. Only rumors, and if so, it is normal that if you have a partner, you reach intimacy with them. What is not normal is that a couple of untied people take photos and videos of your private life in your residential address, and then they expose you in this way on social networks. Someone, in addition to playing, has put themselves in the place of Freen as a woman that someone drunk sick finds you as put like this. Having sex with your partner when this should be only yours and your partner. This didn't happen overnight. It took them a while to do this, and there was money involved. Here, someone wanted to ruin Freen's career or the image of the company. There was no deception here because there was no misleading advertising here. They never said they were a couple publicly. The fan survey manage it due to the obsession of the fans. This is managed on an economic commercial level. If it has the fans hooked, there will be profit. Which is that the fans gave money to support the girls. There is no record of documents where say if you are fans of them you have to give money. The fans give it because that's how they wanted it. They gave it because they wanted it that way, not because the company was making a profit. Yes, everyone did, but this is a business, so it's normal. At the level of ethics and morality, it is wrong to manipulate the situation to fa. Again, I would say that this is a comment I could identify myself with. I agree nearly with, like, with most of it at least. Uh, to absolutely fun this economic commercial level. When the hook, there will be profit, which is that the fans will give money support. I, uh, absolutely true that the fans give money mm, and or gifts for the company for the company's part. Uh, freely, willingly, so they cannot blame anyone afterwards. Uh, so true, of course, uh, people who are in love are gonna be intimate sooner or later. Um, of course, there should not be photos or videos that would be taken out of their private time and put on internet without their consent by third party. Uh, They never said they were uh, couple publicly. True. I I mean, it sounds like a reasonable comment again, which I am so grateful for. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Please not. Okay. So let's. Uh, Let's start where we left off. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, delete this part. Okay, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I love you back here. I'm gonna delete a little bit, a little of these hearts. And copy and paste. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And morally it is wrong to manipulate the situation in favor to profit from fanservy if it is true and for that reason this company and both girls not only freen for Becky also since she is there. 
partner at work level they made fan service so they should give a public apology and clarify the situation. This does not mean that Free and Becky are forced to say what their personal status is, whether or not they are gay or if they currently have a partner or if they are together. If they will be able to do so freely, not out of obligation. Whatever other people say, I will still love and support Angel Freen. Just the way I have loved her from the very start. And there's nothing nor anyone can change that. I love Angel Freen, even more who cares. Loving someone that deceives people for a living is not a new thing when you are in debt. It's not a surprise. Very true so are you indebted. Say Sosmed Segala Kemunkin and Bisa Arja. Sepati Ruma Sesio Rang YG JD Corbin. Tapi B. Uh, this first comment, I mean, uh, from this page, it's so relatable and so full of hidden gems, please. Especially those who tend to send out their m mushroom, mushroom uh, emojis, try to read through this comment. It's really, yeah, wow. On social media anything is possible. Like rumors of someone who was a victim. But if this rumor is not a trick from the IDF. The agency needs to firmly explain and apologize officially to the public, fans. And the victim's tragedy, if it really happens. The IDF cannot be blamed, legally. Because the victim's decision is beyond the IDF's control. It's not that I don't respect the victim, but social media is hard to trust. Yes, especially nowadays. And because there's no hardcore proof it's really hard to believe this story. Let us just wait and see how it unfolds. But what I saw... Okay. social media uh, is hard to trust. I would say the whole internet is hard to trust, but it might be just me being very distrustful to everything I see, do or hear. Uh, because there is not, it's not especially nowadays, it was always like that. Because there is no hardcore proof, it is really hard to believe this story. I mean, it's hard to believe any story very very hard to believe any story because it's story it's in the nature of story to be hard to believe or I mean yeah like no if it is a story because in stories usually there are inserted context there are inserted um, interpretations of other people that you don't know and you can't rely because you don't know them and you cannot trust them because you don't know them and so Stories in general are hard to trust. I mean, it's hard to make them reliable. I mean, there is always like hidden something there, but you need to know how to read them. And even if you do know how to read them, maybe be careful, please. Uh, so it's not only thing of nowadays. It's it was always like this. Okay, let's let's move on. But what I saw in a lot of friends' interviews was that there were also lies. Friend once said that she was traumatized by men, that's why she took part in the GL project. Whereas in GL it was for single people. If at that time, Friend wasn't single, why didn't she choose lane dramas like Korea? That's why. In fact, 80% of GL is also Friend's fault because there is a lot of evidence in interviews that Friend doesn't like guys. Yes, that's true and it's just fan service. That's why I appeal to his sense of moral humanity. No one who is working can no, cannot effort even to have sense of morality and humanity. Uh, anyways doesn't like guys. You know what, like you were following her too much because I haven't heard her saying something like this. 
And I was freaking doing reaction videos for her the whole time. So, yeah, you were paying too much attention to what she was saying, I guess. And you would, you have taken it too much to your heart. Which sucks, and I personally was at the place you are right now. But, yeah. And even now, friend's interview is not clear. It's not the IDF's fault either. So it's friend's fault for being brutal and lying to all the friends. I'm sure Becky doesn't know at all because when the scandal happened, it was just friends Becky who seemed so shocked from her expression. What I see. Dot, but friend is relaxed. Truth Freen is a terrible person. If you do a deep research into who Freen is, you would be amazed how cunning and deceptive she is. Every one of her moves was well planned. Freen was the first that went to Becky the first day they met. Freen knew very well that Becky came from a rich home so getting closer to knowing Becky was well calculated by Freen. Freen got no dignity watch closely you would realize she always tries to control Becky. Three whose moral humanity... Uh, this is something that I would... Wait a second, okay, so... Now, in the nuclear the factory, uh, because the scandal happened, it was just Freen Becky who seemed shocked from her expression, what I see, but Freen is relaxed. Uh, this is what I would call the Lulu comment. Uh, and I don't mean it any sort of nasty, but... Tr like, even the first expressive sentence, Freen is a terrible person. How do you know? If you do a deep research into who Freen is, you would be amazed how cunning and deceptive she is. Uh, okay. You know, like not everything you read as being cunning and deceptive would be read the same way by other people. Be careful of how expressively you talk. I, I mean, I, I, we all need to relearn how to use language. But this is definitely more like showing bad things about you than showing bad things about Freen. Uh, every move of hers was well planned. If she's the more lazy one, how do you mean this? Every of her move was well planned. I mean, Becky is the one who is studying law. Becky is the one who is studying psychology. It does not sound like a profile of free. It does sound like a profile of Becky. I am sorry, but it is the truth. Free was the first that went to Becky the first day they met. That was the deceptive thing, like... Oh my gosh, I hope no one 13 year old is reading this comment. We knew very well that Becky came from a rich home. So getting closer to knowing Becky was well calculated by Freen. Freen got no dignity watch closely, you would realize she always tries to control Becky. But if she's... If Becky is studying law and psychology, isn't it a kind of good position to be in if someone who is showing you manipulative traits of behavior or like pattern of behavior or traits of personality, isn't it a good place to be in in order to fight someone like this, not letting them do this specifically? I know the answer. It's probably the opposite of what you think I would say, but like rationally speaking, if you are of a normal intelligence, that is not something that is gonna move you much once you are adult. It might, temporarily, but not for a long period of time. It's more like they are being too obvious and it's too laughable for you watching what they are trying to do, than you being able to fall for the trap, if you know what I mean. And especially if you ha are like studying laws and psychology of all of the fields you could have, it's highly probably that you don't know what to look at, what to be careful about, what to do about these people, because psychology is highly practical sort of field, the same counts for laws, even though it's a little bit different, but uh, psychology, definitely. And Becky ca came from a rich home, so getting closer to knowing Becky was well calculated by Freen. Do you have some issues with someone trying to manipulate you because you were rich? Because it sounds like that. First things first. Second thing second. No, I'm not guessing you are. 
fuck it, I j j just let's say no, I don't. If you mean that Freen tries to use Becky, I would be the first one telling you that Becky is not the type of person who would let herself be used that way. As well, them doing the same career kinda means that they are earning the same money, at least it was like that when they were shooting up the series. Or a Secret Crush on you for that matter. Um... Uh, Overall, you seem to be trying to create a profile of Becky where she is like this soft, fragile flower that cannot take care of herself always endangered by the outside world, while in reality she is kind of dragon-like type who can uh, very well assess what she's doing, when she's doing that and what would be the best for her. She, in short, can take care of herself very much at least in the normal sort of situations um, the extreme sort of situations she's not yet prepared so well about but still and as well what would you want Freen to do when she was supposed to be the the P, the older sister there taking care of Becky like should she ignore her the first day and then we would have here the whole lot of a crap from other people complaining how she was uh, uh, because like, back then Fring was well known, maybe better known than Becky at, at least at the beginning of their relationship and she would be the one who is like to you know like posh it to even like uh, take care of someone who is younger and new in the industry no she cannot do that she cannot do that as because this is not a norm in Thai society from from this point of view of societies, this is just a big nonsense and she didn't do the mistake of ignoring Becky. Good for us. It, I mean, if you want to blame anyone or anything, I guess, I guess there is not a way out of it because you will find ways. You will find ways, but I don't see this scenario as a probable one. Who's a moral humanity? <laughs> Well, what a joke. You should have your own series. I will watch it for a good laugh. It's called Acting Clone. Hilarious. Okay, just guys, you don't have to be nasty because someone said something. But if I could hope and beg considering that many of Freem's fans are in their teens and maybe some of them identify being as part of LGBTQ, I hope that Morally Free and Idol Factory will be more careful in expressing an ex expression and expressing LGBTQ plus character styles. At least there is a clear warning in every content produced by Idol Factory and Freen personally openly states that she is not part of LGBTQ. Sorry if this is a bit excessive. Hmm. Right, I was not present her um, saying one or the other. And I don't personally care, I would still have my opinion on it. Or have my doubts about it, that is. The right now, Freen would have to be more careful with his fans, the, her friends, telling them that they are her, her girlfriends or those little games. They sound like hypocrisy to, to her, to the, to the commentator now. Playing with them, knowing that uh, she's straight, no longer makes sense. It makes sense because of her career, but whatever. But whatever. Freen just has to decide. Uh, Dedicate herself to acting and take better care of herself. My angel friend, what are you going to write her script for her as an actress? She has freedom of choice as you do. Don't manipulate the question to marry up to the, the answer you want to hear. Here everyone is equally guilty. None of them were wholly naive nuns that are participated and thanks to the fan service, they filled their pockets. Again, I would... Uh, uh, I would address the comment before, fan service is not illegal, hence we have here this situation. Uh, th uh, thank and thanks to fan service they fill their pockets because free, uh, because Becky won't know that they were in fan service if her own brother said and affirmed that they were girlfriends who were in love and engaged. 
What Richard stated, Becky clarified something. I didn't clarify if we never said she was dating Becky, much less said that she was a lesbian. Everyone, director uh, Pina, Richard and his fellow cast members claimed that they were girl girlfriends, the videos and photos of them sleeping together who uploaded it, Becky. And the others always knew about Seng and Fring's relationship, the videos are even Seng in the video where he was with them, the fan service told him. They all lied and Becky is also no saint as they want to leave her. While they were with the fan service, they never clarified it. They didn't have a romantic relationship, the one who bought, bought the story, the day uh, our girlfriends who do that with each other because from miles away you could tell that they are straight and they that they like bananas more than oysters. To begin with, the fans who gave money gave it because they wanted to, not there. No material where Rilas asked them for money. Now they want to create a fuss against them when together no longer sell or shine and discomfort is noticeable and 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 yeah uh, and yeah uh, interviews and indie interviews are obligatory please spare me uh with free uh never said she's a lesbian but her actions suggested so uh well that is what sun fun services it's a it's a part of a game. Having a, but you 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 are omitting something important here. Even being a mother or being a woman is a game. It's part of a role that is being played by societies for since we were civilized, okay? Playing game like this is not illegal. It's very difficult to grasp what it is, where to begin with, what to prevent, what to try to get rid of, what not. It's very, very, very difficult. And you cannot do that once you know that we all are playing those games, those role games. It's literally what sociology is all about, playing the games in families where we are in the society when we are like with our friends playing roles but Fring and Becky do this for money and there is some later above on top of that expected from them to be different to be better to be more in that way in comparison to a normal everyday life because otherwise they wouldn't shine they wouldn't be recognizable they wouldn't they would be basically forgettable and it is exactly what they need to prevent so don't ask after that why they are doing what they are doing because they are doing what i don't know that works or no or thing that might work or is somehow being able to drug like, you know like drug drug people basically like, drug their attention towards them drag them to buy them gifts, give them money, pay for their concerts and, and stuff. Because their living depends on that. As much as other people's livings depends on them being exact in some other sort of field. But the most difficult things are usually well, the most difficult things are usually the ones that everyone knows how to do. And yet not everyone is the best in uh, doing them and earning money through them is even more difficult. So yeah, here we go. Why are you trying to put it on Becky? Was Becky the one that was exposed in the video or Freen? When they were displaying PDA why wasn't she sincere enough to tell fans not to attach meaning to it that it's all make-believe rather she went with the flow so she could fool people cause of money and fame. The blame goes to Freen. I'm sure Becky wasn't aware of Freen's affairs with Sen. In a recent interview, Sorocha interrupted Becky, who was... Well, I can 
kind of um, glorify this. I'm kind of positively backing you about uh, Prince Ethereum saying I am not doubting that that part that bit whatsoever at all. She definitely. Uh, was it her role to say something public? The heck no! It's not her. Like it's not her business even. It's not her private life. She she cannot disclose her like this. Imagine your friend disclosing like that you in front of your parents or in front of str complete strangers you haven't even heard or met in your real life. Imagine that. She couldn't do a thing. Um, she didn't even have a reason to do it. Because once she would date someone, Becky, for like Free would cover for Becky as much as Becky did cover for Free. And in reality, what I truly believe is that Freen and Sang didn't really met that frequently. Because all of their time were consumed by Freen and they keep working about their freaking careers. The same thing for... Like, seriously, come on guys, they really didn't meet each other that frequently. It's more like rare occasions. Freen and Becky spent together more time than Freen and Sang or Becky and supposedly someone other guy that she might have met, date or have one date with. I wouldn't see it as tragically, they were really spending more time together with like the girls than with their like, like partners or families because they were so much concentrated and so much they tried hard for their professions and now we are all over and over and over and constantly over again we are just roasting them over that one thing that was probably so short, so, un so insignificant in their life and so short-lived give them briefing space come on in a recent interview sorocha interrupted becky who was speaking to say what she did in bed the interviewer didn't ask if they slept together but sorocha made a point of saying that she slept with becky and it wasn't the first time she said it their fans are from many countries Sorocha cannot summarize what she says just about Thai culture. In other countries the culture is different and that is why opinions and thoughts are different. If she assumed it was her in the video with the mushroom and asked people to respect her decision, she wants to be respected. Give her respect. F and here I was nearly saying that this is another kind of reasonable comment and mushroom really... So, n no, this one isn't, isn't a reasonable comment. But again, just because it is not a reasonable comment does not mean that it, it, there is not some, like, fragment of truth in it. You just need to search for it carefully, be, uh, you know, like, skeptical towards everything, and maybe you will find gold there. Or not. Maybe trash. Up to you. If she assumed it was her in the video with the mushroom and asked people to respect her decision, she wants to be respected. Give that respect first. Fans are necessary. Without fans there are no views, no ticket purchases, no votes for awards. If you are sisters, behave like sisters and don't just leave question marks in the air. I'm not I mean, the quest The only question I have is, okay, they wouldn't be as rich as they are now if it was not like that. Uh, how is it described here how the fan support works? But my question is, wouldn't, be, they, wouldn't they be able to make their living out of the same profession without this support out of fans? I mean, buying tickets, purchases votes for efforts, views, like, wouldn't they be able to? Because we are on the internet, like, everyone who can make the money out on the internet can make the money on the internet, and that's it. If you are sisters, behave like sisters and don't just leave question marks in the air. I'm not in favor of hate or violence, but lies about lies don't solve problems either. Sorocha never said she was a lesbian. But her behavior towards Becky is the opposite of what she says she is. It and now you need to reconsider because Finn was 
treating Becky exactly the same way as previous actress was in her job, in her industry, doing with their co-workers, co-partners. The heck! They didn't do anything, they just copy-pasted and made a little bit better, let's say, but on, on a very like naive, innocent level, their interactions. But they copy-pasted the type of interactions other boy love genre actors did, had made towards each other in the industry before. They didn't invent something new. It's not... It's not. Really, seriously, come on. Anyone here on this with me? Thank you. It's one thing for her as an actress to play a lesbian role. It's another thing for her to represent a community to which she doesn't belong, like Freen. And then come and ask that same community to respect her decision. You would not, you know what, I would fuck you. I wouldn't do a thing about, about and for you anymore if you were answering me like this. They are actors and they work for their watchers, audiences. They don't give a fucking damn about your fucking representation. Seriously. The representation comes after the art and after them acting. They are after the specific job that have specific re requirements. It has nothing to do with your representation. You are the one who wants representation. They are not the one who wants the representation. They are just taking the jobs as they go to make money, to, to survive. The representation plays a very insignificant role, I can guarantee you that. If they were given better opportunities, if they were given opportunities in non love uh, series, I would, I would give you that they will take it. And they would be much more happier about it. It just means they are forced into these roles in order to be able to do the job they think they might be good at. They are young. Maybe you cannot imagine this because you are 13 years old. Maybe you cannot imagine it is because you don't remember it because you are 80 years old. It does not matter. You have difficulty survive as it is. It's very short-sighted thinking that they are doing something that they 100% wanted to do. And the representation, it comes really... It is at the last place when they are deciding if to take this role or not, in this project or not. They don't have that many opportunities to do what they want to do. And now the only question if, is if them being fought as the person who should do the representation is such a big obstacle for them or not. And if they are in the series, in the final project, then probably for them personally, internally, it is not a big obstacle for them to represent LGBTQ plus community. But first things first, the project needs to be good. The audiovisual part of it, it needs to be good. The story behind it needs to be good. You want as a representation to have, to have fucked up stories? No. Who would want that? But you need to give them the briefing space. If they want it, if they went into it because they wanted to be actors, they are not give a damn about the representation part. It just comes with it naturally. But if you want activists to do your characters, then say so. And people are going to start to put into these roles a different sort of personalities. If you want them to be homosexuals, say so, and they are gonna take from the pole of probably not so beautiful, probably not so gentle, probably not such a good characters, they are gonna take from that pole and give you your LGBTQ plus representation. So why are you searching in a pond that was existing before your representation stuff? 
that is up that is going against the, the laws of logic if you want a to become a c as a result then you're absolutely delusional if you want a to become an a after a certain process then you need to search in a pond where it is full of a's it doesn't make sense to search in a pool where it is full of c's expecting that a c is gonna transform into a And so, yeah, I am very much pitying Thai artists who are forced to do any sort of representations while the only thing they really want to do is doing their acting. Because acting career is what they wanted to do in the first place, not any sort of representation. Come on. I would very much love to think that that is what they want, that is what they come for. At least some small portion of them that I really actually like, might like on a personal level. But it doesn't work like this. Even if I would love to do some, let's say, job, it does not equal that I would love to do that sort of job with this sort of people or that I would love to do this job and I would have no complaints whatsoever about everything that is surrounding it, that it consists of. No, it doesn't work like that. You might love one thing about something and it might help you overcome the obstacles that are all around it but it's not automatical it's not like a given they need to come to terms with okay i'm one of the many 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 sort of actors who were forced into something lgbtq plus even though they only wanted to act they need to come to terms with that they need to overcome if there was some idiot who was nested towards LGBTQ plus communities and now they are the one who are gonna kiss on screen with their colleague who is of the same sex. They are forced to overcome overcome all of the uh, preconcepts that close or not so close people around them will have about this specific sort of job. And they are not very happy about this. And their parents and relatives are not overly overjoyed with this. But they will do it because they personally might not be as homophobic as others would be in their place. And I am kind of taking even the small steps for it. I am grateful. I like it. I like even the idea of them transforming into someone better through their roles not the vice versa where i would expect them to immediately jump and be someone else's partner of the same sex just because they did this one project in reality if i am something so much against and opposed to it's a big victory if the next time i'm only neutral towards the same thing just because someone said something to me that might be actually kind of wise you need to grew into that state you cannot be forced into it it cannot be just shown to you it, you are need to be enlightened by why it might be actually good and not so bad as i think but it is a process it takes time and you definitely cannot expect for them to change their sexual orientation and if you are 20 you definitely don't think about well, I was given this job, it's kind of like three times more than usually my income would be in any other sort of job. And these people around me say to me that I should pretend that I am in love with her outside of our scripts. So I might, maybe I will refuse because even though I might be kicked out of this job that might potentially save my parents house and living and make them retire calmly and peacefully i might maybe you know say like fuck the job it's morally against my like wishes and i don't think it's kind of good and i think i will not pretend that i'm uh lesbian when i am actually you know like in what world do you do you live no one is gonna say no just because of that because it is very difficult to find a job period you know like when it is a job that gives you lots of opportunities and makes you in a field that you would love to be in no one is gonna say no just because morally questionable well yeah i am gonna just make my parents work work hard till they are old 
and potentially full of illnesses that I could have treat if I have taken this job and morally it might be like questionable so no I will refuse it I will not take it like I want to be morally clear other aspects in my life does not matter that much it doesn't work like this so yeah no 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 uh, they, they, they couldn't in, in in 20 when you are 20 years old you don't think is what i wanted to say by this you don't think you can refuse something even though you can refuse it you don't think so because your approach is very clear and pure you want to help your family you went to you want to do the living you want to do and you enjoy doing you want to be popular and famous there is no way you will not take it just because it's a lgbtq plus and other people are gonna force you to pretend that you are lesbian outside or at least make it like questionable so everyone can guess you are not gonna say no why would you do that come on what are you talking are you toxic telling the truth is not toxic. That type of people is crazy person died because if freen are you crazy. Okay what about all about in Israel BCIZ if war you blame this to freen. Thus is crazy creating another issues. He 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 because you see a gerd died because of freen what do you think of that is crazy right. Hi I didn't know how people do a blame for what happened. It is sin you blame innocent people. And no law to protect if happen like that special miles of distance. What the heck. If you don't like freeing what are doing coming and comment negative to the person also innocent. What the heck world. Can some of her lame fans learn new word. What's all this if you don't like freeing thing. Does that change the fact that Freen deceived a lot of people and she's playing the victim now? If deception is not in your character you won't come out here to openly support someone as deceptive as Freen. What wrong with you people how you say Freen is a victim what she do? She only an actress play the role. Even Freen talk how affected of toxic bullying her by social media. Did you think this is right? And what do you think is Freen is Freen cut her like because of toxic maybe you happy. And Freen family blame all fans like that. No one to push you to like the artist if you don't like. If you comment about then you are a group of bullying. The news said that girl is 13 years old. I didn't see fans of Freen under age. Sometimes before you comment try to think many times. Because you always or easy to ride what people say about Freen are bad. And you ride you know why. Because you also are bad. That said person died she's innocent but sorry for her but no one to blame only yourself. Or you family and friends surround you. Not to Freen. And for Freen she 100% she innocent she didn't do anything. Freen also have a personal problem and she try to be strong. Blaming the artist is not good especially you know she's innocent too. But why you hate? Hate? Hate why for what? Because she's strong. Come man if you don't like ignore it. No one to push you to follow Freen. I'm curious you're no a fan but what are you doing? You comment is to show you how bad you are. Thank peace. Okay, so the, this is it guys for the comment section. I hope you have taken something out of this. I mean, all of these questions, all of the things we were discussing here, there are definitely more point of views, there are definitely more things and ways how to take it. You cannot just blindly take into account one thing or one condition and thinking that you have swallowed the world 
you you didn't and even if you are angry you should stop and think about more of the things that are there to consider because there are always multiple things to consider and that is probably the point of view from which people are commenting because they see more than you only so stop yourself listen to other people consider if it is not something that you can think about before throwing the stones and i hope no one of you is throwing the stones because it's short-sighted blind or stupid or reconsider just don't do this those were the news those were the comments have a great day stay tuned stay awesome and i would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this for now bye bye